Today I will show you how you can do a speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve for your iPad. In order to make this work you need the edit page, not the cut page. You need the edit page. In the last couple of days I showed you how you can get all the functions. I will copy a link in the description if you don't know how to do this. So on the edit page put your clip in and then longer press on your clip and you will find here read time controls. Now you see here this little 100% and an error and you see the dotted line. And what I now do is I look for where I wanna do my speed ramping. So for example, from here, it should be slow. And then there, I wanna start my speed ramp. And now you have to just click here on the 100%, just click. What I did wrong first time, I longer pressed and got this huge menu and couldn't find what I needed. You just need to click once and then you find here add speed point. Now I have a speed point. If I want to speed up the first clip, like the first part where you see the 100%, I can just go here to the end and, and you have to be very careful even with the pencil so you can see it's not perfectly optimized. But I can either use this one here or let's say, for example, I want to speed this up until the next one comes in, like here. So I put another speed point in at speed point. And I can also use those markers here on that side. So that means I can click them and reduce them, for example, then it's, then it's getting faster, 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 like 200, 300%. And what I also like to do is I click here and activate retime curve. I can actually make this one bigger. Let's make this a little bit more bigger. So, and what you have to do is go here on the top on this little arrow and instead of reframe, uh, retime frame, deselect this. Uh, the, the Apple Pencil is not perfectly working. Retime, retime. <laughs> it's probably also because I have my camera on my lap. Retime speed and not the retime frame. So now you see that we have it very choppy. So what I would like to do is, and now you shouldn't use your pencil because I, when I clicked it, I basically So when I click it with my pencil, you see, perfect, perfect example. It's not perfectly working. What the fuck just happened? Um, yeah, I jumped out. It's very easy to grab it and just change the speed again. So it's easier to actually use your mouse track to, for example, click this one here, then change this here on the top to curve. And then you can have those little handles and you can smooth out and also an arrow that is happening. If you press too long, the, <laughs> the menu is coming up, so you have to be fast. Okay, let, let's see like this. And I click this one, and I speed this up, uh, I smooth this up as well. So yeah, it's not perfectly working, but for you guys, you wanna do it, this is the way how you can do speed ramp at the moment. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, and ding the bang bang bong, I will, bong, 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 bong. I will make more, it's very early in the morning, I will make more DaVinci video tutorials for you guys, and see you in the next video. Bye.